Back in 2015, Relativity Space was founded with the goal of changing how rockets were manufactured. Now in early 2023, Relativity is scheduled for its first launch of Terran 1, called GLHF or Good Luck Have Fun, from Launch Complex 16 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. This almost fully 3D printed rocket has a lot of unique features that will be put to the test in just days. Not long ago, the company announced that it had received the necessary licensing from the Federal Aviation Administration for this mission. With this and past testing complete, practically everything is ready for this launch set to happen on March 8th. Between then and now, Relativity is continuing to make sure all various pad and rocket systems are set for the first launch. In addition to Terran-1's progress, the company's even bigger 3D printed rocket Terran-R is making significant strides in development. With a lot of similar practices shared between the two, this first launch will have a big impact on the other rocket as well. Here I'll go more in depth into the upcoming mission, Terran-1's payload, what to expect in the coming days, and more. Recently, after a few delays and questions regarding the time frame of this launch, Relativity announced the official launch date of March 8th at 1pm ET. This launch of Terran-1 is the first orbital attempt by Relativity and will not include a customer payload. The FAA license comes after a series of tests of both stages of the rocket. Relativity had planned to cap off that test campaign by firing the first stage engines of the full vehicle on the pad. The FAA license for the launch included a Stage 1 hot fire as part of the pre-launch operations covered by the license. In terms of testing, an official said, Relativity has decided not to conduct that static fire test. The overall test campaign had burned down risk significantly and gave the company confidence in proceeding with a launch without another hot fire of the first stage. Maiden flights have somewhat of an explosive history, however Relativity is confident they can do it first try. It's important to point out that there is no official payload on this mission, and Relativity space is instead including a small object inside the nose cone. On the second, they tweeted saying, What's inside Terran 1's nose cone? Check out one of our very first Metal 3D prints that's catching a ride aboard Terran 1. Printed by the first gen of our Stargate Metal 3D printers, the print pays homage to the journey behind Terran 1's first launch. As a two-stage, 110-foot tall, 7.5-foot wide expendable rocket, Terran 1 is the largest 3D printed object to exist and to attempt orbital flight. Working toward its goal of being 95% 3D printed, Relativity's first Terran 1 vehicle is 85% 3D printed by mass. Terran 1 has 9 Eon engines on its first stage and 1 Eon vac on its second stage, supporting a payload capacity to LEO of 1250 kilograms. Relativity's Eon engines are designed, assembled, and tested in-house. With the exception of the second stage nozzle extension, each of Terran 1's 10 engines is based on a common design, enabling simplified and repeatable manufacturing and acceptance testing. Eon engines are fueled by liquid natural gas and liquid oxygen and operate using the gas generator engine cycle. Each engine uses two turbo pump assemblies for thrust and mixture ratio control one for liquid natural gas and one for liquid oxygen. The thrust chamber is region cooled with liquid natural gas, which is then injected into the main combustion chamber and burned with liquid oxygen to produce the required thrust. Like its structure, all relativity engines are 3D printed and use LOX and LNG, which are not only one of the best for rocket propulsion, but also for reusability, and the easiest to eventually transition to methane on Mars. With this launch date in place, it's very likely that relativity will be the first to fly with this propellant combination. Other rockets, such as SpaceX's Starship and ULA's Vulcan, are very close to their maiden flights, but Relativity is just days away. As a next-generation launch vehicle, Terran-1 is designed for the future of Constellation deployment and resupply. Its unique and software-driven architecture is capable of accommodating satellite customers' evolving needs, while also providing the most agile and affordable launch service on the market. Designed and printed in the USA, Relativity believes Terran-1 is the most innovative product to emerge from the aerospace manufacturing industry since the dawn of the privatization of space 20 years ago. It has been quite a long journey for both Relativity Space as a company and the Terran 1 rocket. Thankfully, they have both made it to easily the most difficult and most important test yet with Terran 1's first launch. Not only will this test the rocket itself, but also the pad infrastructure at Launch Complex 16. Relativity has been constructing a launch facility on site LC 16 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, meant to support initial test flights of Terran 1 and subsequent customer flights. The launch site on the eastern end of the Air Force Station is ideal for supporting low to mid inclination orbits. Inclinations less than 28 degrees and greater than 55 are also possible, but may result in decreased mass-to-orbit performance due to dog-like trajectories. Before Relativity was competitively awarded the site in 2019, LC-16 was used by the U.S. Air Force for Titan-1, Titan-2, and Pershing missile launches, and briefly by NASA for Gemini crew processing and static firing of the Apollo Service Module's propulsion engine. Since then, Relativity has been working to modernize and improve the site for ambitious future launches. The exciting part about this upcoming launch is all the firsts that are being tested. Not only is it the first launch for Relativity and the first of Terran 1, but also the first attempt with an almost fully 3D printed rocket. 
The success and results of this mission are bound to have a lasting effect on the manufacturing process that Relativity uses and any changes they make going forward with this rocket and even Terranar. In terms of manufacturing, Relativity's proprietary factory of the future centers on Stargate, the world's largest metal 3D printers, that create Terran 1 and the first fully reusable, entirely 3D printed rocket Terranar, from raw material to flight in 60 days. If these systems continue to be improved and new generation printers come out, it's possible that Relativity can keep enhancing the strength, time, and money needed to produce these rockets. Stargate Printer's patented technology enables an entirely new value chain and innovative structural designs that make Terran 1 and Terranar possible. The company points out that by developing its factory of the future and rockets together, Relativity accelerates its ability to improve design, production, quality, and speed. The company developed multiple proprietary alloys custom designed for 3D printing to meet mission critical performance. In terms of uniformity, parts are inspected during and after printing to ensure they meet the highest standards of quality. In the grand scheme of things, Relativity is trying to change how rockets are manufactured within the industry. They often highlight that for around 60 years, aerospace manufacturing has relied on large factories, fixed tooling, complex supply chains, and extensive manual labor to build costly rockets comprised of 100,000 plus parts in two years or longer. In order to accelerate innovation in the industry, Relativity built its factory of the future. The first aerospace platform to automate rocket manufacturing, vertically integrating intelligent robotics, software, and data-driven 3D printing technology. Incorporating Stargate with AI-driven controls, its factory of the future continuously optimizes production, resulting in greatly compounded quality and time improvements, lower costs, and product designs previously not possible. Currently, Relativity is an application layer 3D printing company that is starting with rockets and will eventually extend its factory of the future to all of aerospace, almost all of which will be somewhat impacted by this first launch. In terms of launch operations, usually approximately one week prior to launch, Relativity conducts a flight readiness review or FRR to verify readiness of the launch, integrated payload, and ground systems. Once verified, the integrated Terran launch vehicle rolls to the pad and connects to ground systems, including payload slash fairing conditioning, pressurance, propellants, and electrical and data connectivity. When ground support connections are complete, the transporter erector rotates the Terran launch vehicle to its vertical position on the pad. The Terran launch vehicle and pad systems are designed to accommodate a one-hour countdown. However, longer countdowns may be coordinated as a non-standard service. Critical functions for both ground systems and flight vehicle are controlled by automated software during the countdown. Propellant and pressurant loading sequences begin early in the countdown, along with a series of vehicle, telemetry, and range checkouts with verification of AFSS, transmitter activation, and transitions from ground to internal power taking place during the final minutes of terminal count. Relativity Space is officially three days away from the company's most important test yet. This will highlight not only what they and the Terran 1 rocket are capable of, but also the 3D printing process and whether or not it's viable for this application. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.